Good morning. Wasn't that a wonderful sermon? I just love them. Um, my name is Laverne Lovell. Peggy and I have been members here since uh, 2001, and I'm privileged today to speak to you about the capital campaign uh, for our new edition. Mulling over what to say today made me think about goals that we have. I thought about Adam and how in the garden he wouldn't really have needed many goals, if any. Um, but boy, when he left there, he was going to have to have them, wasn't he? Um, you know, where to eat, uh, I'm sorry, where to sleep, what to eat, um, and the biggie, how to keep Eve happy. Um, my grandson, when he was just a little tyke uh, in nursery school, had learned about the creation. So he was telling me all about the creation one day and being the wise grandpa, uh, I decided I would add to the story. And so I started telling him how Adam got the name all the animals. And he looked up at me with those big blue eyes and he said, you knew Adam? <laughs> <laughs> I've got enough gray hair and I guess he thought I was old enough. I have had goals all my life. Um, going way back, a goal for a fishing pole and for a hunting rifle and then a bicycle and a car. Fortunately, most of those goals I've been able to achieve in life, but I do have what I call my final goal. Peggy and I moved here in 2000, and every Sunday morning when we would church hunt, it seemed like when we put the car in gear, it would always bring us back to CTK. We decided this is where we were meant to be. Um, this is a fabulous church great pastors, nice campus, excellent school, but most importantly, a congregation that shares my final goal. And that goal is the goal for my soul. I didn't dwell as much as I should have on that goal until in 2004, when God called our only daughter home. It simply crushed me. And that's a crush with a capital C, I'll tell you. The suddenness of our mortality focused me like a laser on that final goal. The more I thought about it, the more I realized God had sent me to Christ the King to help me attain that goal. Pastor Chuck has said in the past, don't marry someone whose primary goal isn't to get you to heaven. Well, I married that woman, but I can tell you I need all the help available. In other words, I need Christ the King. To achieve our final goal, we all need a thriving, active, inspiring Christ the King. To help our brothers and sisters in Memphis community save their souls, we need a prosperous, robust, and flourishing Christ the King. So I ask you as we start this capital campaign to open your minds to what the real final goal for you um, that you have in life here on earth, the goal for your soul. And open your hearts to the goal of this church which is to spread the message of salvation in order to save others' souls. Christ the King will be instrumental in you achieving that goal, I assure you. So give generously to this capital campaign and you will never regret it, even into eternity. So I have some small print here, I can barely read. It says, every good husband always lets his wife have the final word. <laughs> So now it's Peggy's turn. Laverne is right about how our grandkids view how old we are. A few years ago around Halloween, I took some candy pumpkins to our four grandchildren who live in Tampa. Our granddaughter Daphne, who was eight at the time and always wants to make sure there's a fair deal going on, announced that she would distribute that candy according to how old you are. To their delight, her three brothers got 10, then six, then four pieces of candy, respectively. Then she came to me. I told her I was, well, 60-something. The look on her face was priceless. I never want our grandchildren or yours to be caught off guard about what eternity holds for them. Estra establishing values in today's world is a daunting task for every parent. Social media, news broadcasts, TV, movies, all spew a message that can easily be considered the handiwork of that fallen angel we know as the evil one. Here at Christ the King, however, the message is loud and clear. Jesus loves us. This we know, for the Bible 
Isn't this a joy we want to share with others for generations to come? For the past 60 years, faithful men and women like you have joyfully served in collaboration with our pastors the resounding message of salvation through faith in Jesus Christ. Now is our time to move forward in the Great Commission to make disciples of all nations. Romans 13, 11, besides this you know the time that the hour has come for you to wake from sleep, for salvation is nearer to us now than when we first believed. This capital campaign is about planning for that hour. It's about preparing, growing, and incorporating a welcoming environment where Christianity can flourish even more than it does now at CTK. Laverne and I, along with the pastors and the campaign committee, look forward to taking this journey with you. And like Daphne distributing her Halloween candy, we want each of you to prayerfully consider your individual ability to participate. <clears throat> Do that with a joyful heart and know that salvation is near.